It's parental advice that seems to go in one ear and out the other. Turn down the volume. But with so many kids getting headphones and earbuds over the holidays, Dr. John LaPook says, now hear this. Noise is everywhere. But for many young people these days, it's all in their heads. Probably like 50% of my day is spent listening to loud music. Pediatric audiologist Brian Flieger has studied the impact of headphones on hearing. We are seeing pockets of young people who have worse hearing than you would expect, much worse hearing than you'd expect. When it comes to loud sound, the general rule of thumb is the greater the volume, the shorter the acceptable duration. The top volume on an Apple Music player is 102 decibels, as loud as a leaf blower. Keeping the volume at 70% or 82 decibels is safe for eight hours a day. 80% volume or 89 decibels is safe for 90 minutes. But crank it all the way up and only 10 minutes is safe. How many people listen to personal music players? These fifth graders in Cleveland Heights, Ohio, are learning what it takes to be a good listener. Do you think you're listening at a safe level? The Dangerous Decibels program teaches the physics of sound and how excessive noise damages hearing. We like to say that noise ages our ears. Audiologist Sharon Sandridge runs the program for the Cleveland Clinic. It only takes one exposure to um, excessive sound to cause damage in your ear. Flieger's company Lantos Technologies makes a 3D printed headphone custom designed for the individual ear to better block out background noise. Worldwide, roughly one billion people are at risk for noise-induced hearing loss from using portable listening devices. Apps that measure decibel levels can show parents the total amount of noise exposure their child is getting. Scott, it's important and possible for parents to help protect their kids' hearing. We hear you, John. Thanks very much.